Hey guys, welcome to game two between Striker, or sorry, <laughs> game four of set four between Striker and Seriosity of Fighting Spirit Mania. Upper right in corner, we have Striker starting as the blue Zerg bottom left in corner. We have Seriosity starting as the red Protoss. Last match was rough to watch for on Seriosity's part. I'm hoping he can pull, this is his last chance to pull out a victory against Striker. I would just go for cheese, to be honest. Cheese it up, see what can happen. Um... Maybe a little harder to pull off on Fighting Spirit, but I gotta say, yeah, game one, that, that previous match, really, uh, I'm not sure, I, I'm wondering if that was a fatigue play on Seriosity's part. That would be, I'm wondering if it's a fatigue or I, or maybe a lot, especially after losing so many games up to this point, a lack of confidence play, feeling that, okay, I need to get a 12 Nexus off or I need to get an earlier, I need some advantage to be able to take Striker on. Looks like Probe Scout moving out. I assume I'm gonna scout bottom right hand corner first, Striker making that Overlord head towards the bottom right hand corner first. It looks like this time he is opening up Overlord and yep, doing his Overpool build, which has been just safe and, uh, safe and steady. I will say this is kind of the difference I've seen oftentimes between Striker and Hawk is a Striker, sometimes Hawk will just let those moments go and play a more macro oriented game at large, I've never seen Striker drop an opportunity to pull the trigger and go for the kill uh, when it's presented to him, ever, um, in all of the matches I've seen. Like, if he sees an opportunity, he goes for it. Dangerous player in that regard. Second probe being sent out from Seriosity, again wanting to get that early scouting information so he can potentially get a faster Nexus. Probe scout wandering into the base, so this probe going to go ahead and return home, and he is in fact going to see... Once again, an overpool. At cross position, he might be able to sneak the Nexus before Cannon at these locations, particularly with a lack of scout from Striker. Striker, Overlord finding the natural expansion not there. Drone finding another, yeah, just kind of tapping that natural expansion and moving in, just assuming Seriosity isn't going to go to one base play. Nexus warping in. Two Zerglings being built and natural expansion on the way. Forge already up and Seriosity going to go ahead and plop that Cannon. Yeah, from these locations, so the drone's going to go ahead and see that. I wonder if he's, he's going to attack it. No, it looks like he's going to go ahead and back off. I think the opportunity might have been lost as well. Because the larva weren't... Before Striker, I think, was looking to see. And then the larva uh, were saved to maybe make it happen. This time, larva not there to make it happen. Extractor spinning and the drone already making its way towards that 3 o'clock location. This drone returning home. Gateway along the way. I still love the way this is. Kind of like a L whatever. Nice cozy encampment around that first cannon. And next is about halfway finished. So <clears throat> very reminiscent of a lot of the other matches we've seen and expect a lot of that. It, I mean, this is, I will put it this way. This was grueling for them to play. It'll probably be grueling to cast as time wears on. I'm wondering how grueling it is to watch. So the true fans watching Fighting Spirit Mania. <laughs> and maybe if anything, it'll be an indicator of uh, why it's better to have this has kind of been my pet peeve amongst a viewership with a lot of this stuff. I think uh, less is less is more. I think best of five is about the extent I want to see anything. And even I, I think the best of three, I, part of the problem is, is I recognize it's both directions. It's what the viewership wants. I've always, uh, I'm always the viewer advocate. On the opposite side of things, I recognize that there's also the player advocate where they want to have the best of three opportunity because best of one, even in best of three, like, Double cheese can be a factor. We saw that in uh, White versus Gosifer from BSL Hasu League. Uh, and so obviously having more games gives more opportunity to keep things balanced. But at the same time, I wonder about viewer fatigue. Uh, and certainly this, this is going to be viewer fatigue, if nothing else. It'll be caster fatigue for sure, player fatigue definitely, viewer fatigue I would expect as well. Uh, a huge dedication to even get these matches done. Anyway, Lair coming online. A few additional Zerglings being produced. Probe Scout making its way up. Striker immediately intercepting it. One Zergling on the ramp to blockade and is not blockaded, so Seriosity is going to get a view of that Spire. So looking at three Hatch Spire, particularly, or potentially turning into four Hatch Spire. Second Assimilator warping in for Seriosity, suggesting he wants to go for more of a tech heavy mid game rather than uh, Zealot timing at seven minutes, something along those lines, Probe is gonna be able to sneak back out of that base. And we'll see if Seriosity dedicates, in fact, a three hatch muta, or if he's gonna move more towards that four hatch play. We've seen that four hatch play pretty consistently out of him 
uh, through a lot of these matches. Citadel of Dune being plopped down before the initial Corsair is produced, which delays it just slightly. But now that first Corsair in production, an Overlord potentially going to be exposed. The probe is going to wander around and see it. And keep in mind, yeah, as uh, matches have proceeded, this looks like it's going to be that fourth hatchery. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Fourth hatchery at the three o'clock location this time. As it is a little bit, well, maybe because it's wider and more exposed. And because there are multiple ramp. A little harder to Sim City this location. So maybe that is why that hatchery is going at this location. But thus far, we've got uh, really good drone saturation. As, as to be expected from Striker. Spire is finished. First Corsair is out. It is hunting down this nearside Overlord. I think Striker had a good concept that that, Striker, that Overlord, since it was spotted earlier, was going to be the initial target Overlord. This Zergling also camping at the 9 o'clock location. Uh, weapons one on the way. One additional gateway. Uh, looking for a Templar Archives shortly to follow. Looks like we do have Zelt Leg Speed coming online as well. So one Overlord does get taken out. That puts Striker in the red. So at least it is an initial hit and now a bit I kind of like that play because it does allow a little bit more dark space for Seriosity to get some room to kind of run around but these Zerglings so the Corsair just kind of get the Overlord kill return to home base that's unfortunate because oftentimes what you want out of that Corsair is also the ability to get tactical information that's really what Strikers build with this uh, four hatch uh, pushback does is it just denies that information five hatch rollback looks like weapons one being upgraded and a move towards Hydralisk also the Scourge with this, get an opportunity to sneak back in the base, and if there's not a cannon uh, to be defending, Corsairs can get picked off. So the cannon warping in, there might have been an opportunity there based on timing for the Scourge to pick something off. They're going to go ahead and look at the uh, saturation of the natural expansion. These two Corsairs trying to hunt Scourge down. Ugh, still take a hit. Ugh, rough. But three Corsairs now out, as well as a handful of Zealots. Uh, leg speed is online. Templar Archives also down. See how far level 1 weapons is off. Level 1 weapons will upgrade on route. The Scourge, not able to hit the second attack, but getting cleared out. They're marching to, it looks like, the 3 o'clock location. There's already several Hydralisks in position to intercept there. Zelts want to create some disruption underneath. It looks like one Overlord is going to get taken out. The Hydralisks have some trouble here. A Battle Probe as well. Reinforcements streaming on the mini-map, Hydralis just diving to this location. A second Overlord getting taken out. The Zealots have managed to breach up top. Third Overlord down. Seriosity getting some really good economic damage out of this. And the Zealots actually able to get on top of the Hydralis as well. The Corsairs still remaining alive. Repositioning. And Striker's Economy taking a big hit early. All right. This might be Seriosity's game. I hope to see it. One Corsair. Oof. A little bit hurt on damage. But right now, Striker is pouring on the Hydralis production. And is diving in. Oh, he, these Templar need to get back into a defensive position. Sidestorm is not ready. A couple additional gateways. Keep in mind there was a uh, smaller gateway production earlier. Oh, is this High Templar going to be, be able to make it back in time? Also worried about Seriosity's ability to fight this back without additional cannons. There are two cannons, a third one morphing in. But the High Templar at exposed position getting picked off. Ugh. And two, yeah, both cannons down. High Templar's out, but they don't have Sidestorm. So they're not going to be able to defend this. And now, Hydralisks pounding away at the front. Striker's so good. Uh, able to just really punish this. Corsair making their way back around. It looks like the Zealots have managed to sneak into 3 o'clock. Striker pulling the drones off the line and the Hydralisks to go ahead and engage this. And two additional... Looks like, okay, a Dark Templar has been produced. Oh, they're still in the front. The Corsair's not there to provide assistance. It looks like they're still trying to engage Overlords here at the 3 o'clock location to slow Striker's economy down. And... Uh, Okay, it looks like that Dark Templar is able to stop the rest of those High Templar. I actually like seeing the Dark Templar as a defense and also clearing out these Overlords. Two more potentially exposed Overlords here for Striker. Striker finally showing some uh, signs of... I'm not sure if this is Mercy or Humanity or, or what it is. However, Overlord speeds online, so it's going to be a little bit harder to take them out. Two speed Zelts streaming across the map. Again, maybe wanting to sneak into this 3 o'clock location, but Hydralisks are already in position as well as an additional hatchery. Lurker tech about halfway finished. And there's this pocket. I don't know that... It, yeah. We'll see if these Zelts can go and make it happen. Gotta wait. They're waiting for their brethren. More Hydralists are pouring down. Striker once again in the red because those Corsair are doing good work taking out those Overlords along the left-hand flank. Uh, but level 1 weapons is on land. Level 2 weapons making its way. And these Zelts, yeah, backing up now. Looks like a good group of them as well as the Dark Templar. 
control group of troops. Right now, Seriosity has the supply lead. He does have some Psystorm to group with this. I like the Corsair also in position. It looks like one of them. Oh, man. Striker just turning around, picking it off immediately. Almost like a, a SWAT. Maybe these Corsair can work on the Overlords as the rest of this getting swept out. Single Lurker Egg trying to morph. It's actually distracting a lot of Zealots, which is causing these Zealots to get stranded from the rest of the army. And Seriosity peeling forward. An empty Psystorm, it looks like, to the north. The High Templar getting picked off. Ugh. Things going, yeah, poorly in these exchanges. But still holds the supply lead. More Lurker, or sorry, more Hydralists that potentially could turn into Lurkers trying to stream across this Overlord pinning on that Dark Templar, looking for an opportunity to swing back around. And unfortunately, this is turning into a pincer attack situation now for Seriosity. Let's see if he can get out of it. There are Hydralists trailing, and they're picking off the High Templar in the midst of this. Both empty side storms. Corsair is still working on the High Templar overhead. The Zealots trying to chase that down, but it looks like the... the after cleaning up a bit of a, an attack force there, this army is scattered absolutely everywhere. Hydralis getting pinned. Uh, Striker now looking to sweep around and again maybe get positioning. But Seriosity trying to just swat the army where he can. He's doing a good job of keeping it cohesive and creating a lot of chaos for Striker. However, more Hydralisks are making their way down to cut off any potential reinforcements. Overlord accidentally getting targeted there, it looks like. The Lurker is burrowing, so Lurker Tech is up. I don't see an observatory. Sorry, there is an observatory, but I don't see any observers out on the field just yet. Some Dragoons moving up. The army sweeping back to get a pincer attack on the Hydralisks that are there, but Corsair is getting picked out of the air. Dark Templar, I'm not sure how helpful it's going to be. The Lurker does plant down. No observer in position yet. So some Dragoons and Zealots caught behind this attack force is going to get wiped out, but additional Overlords being picked off. And Striker actually... Sorry, Seriosity building a cannon... A forward line, a couple probes on position to get some detection potentially to prevent a contained situation. Trying to create a lot of chaos basically to prevent this from happening. Every single time you saw that army sweep around, you saw Striker trying to press down to get to this bridge, the natural expansion, to potentially create the seal. And it looks like Striker finally over having overwhelming Hydralisks between a lot of whiffed uh, Psy Storms and just enough settling of the chaos. That Seriosity uh, at risk of getting contained and there's GG. So Striker takes sweeps the first uh, round. Seriosity goes to the loser's bracket. And from here, I will uh, cast something from round two. I have, I have my pick. I have things to look at. But that is it for round one. Striker. Yeah, going all 16 games. I am sorry, Seriosity. I did not... This wasn't the... Uh, I was expecting Striker to win. I wasn't expecting a sweep. Uh, was the handle of things. Otherwise, I would have actually wrapped a different group uh but testament to striker strength glad at least to be able to um have seriosity in some casts regardless of how it went hope you guys enjoyed it nevertheless thanks for listening